Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Bliss Voices. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate to the, to the giveaway, if you want to enter the giveaway, please do check the instruction in the video description. Thank you again. So we are inside AUM and as you can see down here, I have Bliss Voices loaded as an insert effect. So what is Bliss Voices? Well, it's defined as the ultimate uh, vocal harmonizer by Bliss, by Bliss. But I would say that um, uh, it is much more than that. It is really a powerhouse synth for vocals. It uses the winning formula of controls and features that you are familiar already with um, with Bliss products. Of course, if you use Bliss products, and I hope you do because they are fantastic. So the way that uh, the Moshi sequencer is implemented or uh, the modulation like the LFOs. So if you use the previous products from Bliss, you will find at home because is uh, they're very easy to use. They're very intuitive. Additionally, um, as you can see here, it has a concept of four independent voices, but you can augment uh, at up to 12 with uh, an additional eight voices, which are triggered by an MIDI um, input, which can be your keyboard here internally inside Bliss Voices, or it could be from an external MIDI controller, or like in this case, you can uh, use the AUM keyboard. And the way it works is that it has a fantastic pitch correction algorithms, which it uses, of course, to affect uh, uh, or change the, uh, the pitch of the voices. And uh, in which you can see also here on the left hand side, you can uh, also pitch correct it to uh, a key and a scale as well. So uh, coming back here to this top of uh, uh, within AUM, I have a number of audio sources here, which go through a bus A, and then through the bus A here, we is going through the uh, Bliss voices. I also have a, a melody bud here um, up, which is generating some notes in case uh, we want to use that against uh, some uh, of the instrument. But let's explore some of the internal presets. So I unmute this audio channel and ensure that it is the only one unmuted. And um, I have a file player here and I'm going now to open uh, Bliss Voices and I'm going to go through some presets so that it gives you some idea what you can do. Pray for your family. Pray for our enemies. Oh, a lot of friends. Pray for your eyes to see. Pray over your strategy. As you can see with this preset, you can see you can achieve a harmonization, right? You have four independent voices here, which you can control the pitch, the format, and the four control the harmonics and the signal, which without changing the pitch, you can control the volume, the stereo spread, and you can also do low and high pass filter and introduce also a delay and control the pan. So is and you can do that for each of the four independent voices. You can activate them or deactivate them, and you can also set them to be transposed or to flatten to a note which you decide here. Okay, so lot of different options. The um, cool thing as well is that if you introduce delay, then it will give you that uh, sense of ripple effect or, or more of a type of stereo effect, as you will see in some of the presets in a moment. Pray for your mental ease, pray for this chemistry. Pray for your family. You can see in this case that uh, um, and the pitch is flattened to uh, different notes, F3 for this voice 1, A3 for voice 2, C4 for voice, voice 3, and E4 for voice 4. So, quite nice, but let's continue. Pray for our enemies, our me. Pray for you, yeah, you can see that there is some modulation on the formant and also some uh, very quick modulation on the uh, note dial here. And indeed, if you go to the modulation section, you can see both L LFO operating. The first, this LFO 2 here as a sound wave, which is operating, and also the LFO 1 as this random signal as well. 
Okay, you can see where they are uh, applied. You can see the sound wave here, which is applied. You can see the visual as well of the LFO modulating the formant, uh, and then the other LFO uh, modulating the notes here randomly. Okay, so you can see how you can create quickly very unique preset and uh, vocal sounds. Interestingly as well, the type of harmony, like in this case, fifth harmony that you can achieve, of course, changing the relation here, the relationship between the different pitches, okay? Let's continue. Pray for your family, pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your eyes to see. Strategy, pray for your mental ease, pray for... Pray for your family, pray for our enemy. This is quite an interesting example. As you can see, you have delay applied for uh, voice 2, 3, and 4, but you also have different settings for the stereo here on voice 4, and that is why you hear that uh, um, more uh, um, stereo effect between the channels, and also the slight delay between the voices contribute or enhances that. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your Pray for your mental ease. Pray for this industry. Pray for your family. Pray for our enemies. Oh, what a friend you need. Pray for your wife's feet. Pray for your strategy. Pray for your mental ease. Pray for this industry. Pray for your family. Pray for our enemies. It's quite interesting the type of effects that you can create. For example, a more robotized voice if you use the flatten option for the four um, uh, voices. But let's go back now to the uh, default preset. And as you can see, this is the standard UI from Bliss where you can select your preset. You can save a new one. You can save a changed one, rename it, import them, export them, delete them, etc., etc. You can go to the previous preset, to the next one, and randomize, of course, the settings. When you load the default preset, you can see you have only voice one, which is active. Now, let's mute uh, that file player and let's unmute um, um, uh, Pipa here. And let's bring up the uh, AUM keyboard. Okay, perfect. Now, let's, uh, um, like so, um, uh, let's make it possible to see the AUM keyboard. And let's go through some uh, of the controls. So we have voice one now active. We can change the pitch here. We can change the format, so uh, the harmonics in the signal without, without changing the pitch. Can change the volume. The stereo. And then you can act on the low pass filter and high pass filter. And the pan, of course. Okay, perfect. And you can introduce also the delay. And as I mentioned, you can also flatten to a specific note, so it will not follow the transposition, okay? As I mentioned, you can use uh, four uh, voices independent, but you, independently, but you can also add an additional eight through your MIDI keyboard. So let's uh, uh, try that. <laughs> Okay, now here on the left hand side, you can see that you can use pitch correction. You can do that for the four independent voices or for the MIDI voices. Uh, of course, if you click on all, you will activate it for all of them. You can select a key there and also a scale as well. And then you can select how quickly it will respond to correction of the tune to the scale that you have selected for, of course, the 
uh, voices that you are selected up here to be uh, corrected. So let's say I select uh, natural minor, C natural minor. Okay, you can you can hear that tension and the correction. Of course, you can set these the speed of correction down to zero. Now let me show you what happens when you add multiple voices. Let me show you now it uh, uh, delay applied. <laughs> Very, very interesting. You can adjust, of course, the gain here and you can set the dry and wet effect. And you also have an option for real time, which, of course, will decrease the quality a little bit. So um, it depends really what you are trying to achieve. Now, let's go back to the performance here section. Here is where you can apply additional modulation based on a number of events. For example, the modulation... Um, Wheel. And uh, let's hide now the um, the AUM keyboard. Let's click um, play here. As you can hear, I have a melody pad here connected to people, also ISM as well, in case we want to use it. And it, and really, melody pad is just playing the same note, say for simplicity with a, a gate open to maximum and a rate set to a minimum, okay? So to have slow notes going through to Bliss Voices. Okay, let's uh, open up these, um, sorry, Bliss Voices and maximize it. <laughs> Now, the controls here works uh, very much the same, but of course the input is different. This one is for modulation wheel, which you can act uh, here, like so, or through an, an external modulation um, controller, okay, from your external MIDI controller. You can set the destination to the destination and the amount. So in this case, for example, we could choose uh, voice one format, amount maximum, and as is played, now we're changing the modulation wheel, I can change the format. <laughs> Double click to reset the amount. You can apply these also at keyboard um, levels. So depending on the position of the key you press, you will have different input, uh, as you can see um, up here. You can do these on uh, note on, depending on the um, how quickly you uh, press that note. You can do on a slide, moving up and down like so, and you can do it by absolute or relative as well positioning. You have a channel pressure here or after touch. And then depending on your uh, um, MIDI controller, you can also use note off. So how quickly you release actually the note. And based on that, you have different values. And of course, you can apply the modulation in different amounts here for two different destinations as per the other settings. Here you have an interesting option, which is Dispatch. And um, it will produce uh, different notes based on the modes that uh, you have selected here. And um, so, for example, on the first mode here, um, it will start to if it will start to produce a modulation here in the center of the curve, and as you hold that note and press other notes, you can see it's spreading around, is diverging from the center. Um, the convergence is the opposite, left and right, and then if you continue left and right, and it converges uh, right to the center, and then you have a random position as well, which you can see is always random. 
Now, before I move ahead here, you have pitch bend, you have your modulation control, you can go up and down your octave, you can select the scale here, which is chromatic or diatonic. If you go diatonic, you can change the key and also set it to major and minor. You have support for MPE, um, which is cool, for which you can set the glide on and off here, the gliding. And of course, better if you have an external um, controller which support MPE, of course, your slide, which can be absolute reality, and of course, your pressure. Again, a lot of different options. You can set the scroll here, um, your register here for the keys, and then you can also hold the notes like so. Okay, but now let's go back to scale and let's set it back to chromatic. Okay, let's move ahead. On the MIDI section here, you can, again, correct, as I'm, I explained a moment ago, uh, notes. Uh, sorry, you can do pitch correction for the four independent voices and also for the MIDI voices, set the key and the scale and the speed. But you can also activate the arpeggio, okay? So... <laughs> So as you, you have seen, I had to deactivate to hear it a little bit better, the four independent voices so that you could hear the MIDI voices which were affected by the arpeggiato, right? So the arpeggiato is applied to those MIDI voices, not the four independent voices. You can set the play mode up, up and down, etc. a lot of different options. But you can also further customize the arpeggiato playing behavior in reverse, forward and backwards, and also playing just chords. You can set the octave, um, what is the number of octaves that it was spun through. The groove, if you want that shuffle effect, which is really nice, how long the or much the gate is open, the rate which is a millisecond if it is in sync mode free, or it can be in subdivision here if it is in sync mode to the host and of course in bit, which will synchronize also the pattern to the bars, not only to the um, do bit. You can set the probability of note being played and the repetition. So this is very much standard uh, as per other bliss uh, um, um, product. Here you can decide um, voices if they're going to be mono or poly, a glide between the voices, the format, the volume, the stereo, and the low pass and high pass filter, and delay and the pan. Okay? <laughs> And of course, all of this is for the MIDI voices, and you have also the ability to uh, change the uh, envelope here, your attack, um, the case sustain and release, and also set how much the output is impacted by velocity. Okay, so... So you can hear standard, really, uh, ADSR envelope, which is applied to the MIDI voices. Okay, so let's um, um, stop the arpeggiator. Now let's move to the voices um, section. I showed, uh, showed these uh, uh, at the beginning of the tutorial, so you know how they work. And uh, let's now enable... Um, uh, ISIM, and we have a different preset here, and let's reopen uh, Bliss Voices, and uh, let's uh, do this. And in this case, I have just a normal instrument, but I just wanted to, a pad, I just wanted to show you that you can apply also to 
um, sources which are not necessarily voices, but of course it works better with vocals. Okay, you can apply also modulation, and uh, let's go back to um, that uh, um, sample which uh, we see earlier on. Okay, so um, let's say that I want to apply modulation here to the formant uh, voice one. I can go to modulation activate the LFO one. You can choose the type of uh, waveform you want to use, sine, triangle, uh, sawtooth, etc., square, random. You can have a free or sync to host, a sync to the host bit plus bar, uh, bar measure. You can retrigger with, when notes are uh, played. You can exclude the triplets as well. You can... Uh, set a different type, uh, time shape as well, which influence, of course, the shape of the LFO. You can set an offset, the rate, the smoothness in terms of transition, and then choose destination with amount. So in this case, let's say, again, voice one formant, amount, and let's click play. You can see the LFO one uh, being applied to the formant. Now back to modulation, you have a second LFO and you also have an envelope follower which acts on the volume of the notes which are coming in and therefore will send different signals um, here to the destination depending on the amount that you have selected. You can also add gain and attack and also release which gives you a lot of different options. Finally you have also a sequencer, a motion sequencer and, and if you use the previous product from Bliss you know how this works. You can set the sync mode again normal sync mode to host plus beat so that uh, you have that uh, sync as well to the do uh, bar. You can also set it on note jump so uh, that uh, it moves between notes okay, uh, uh, as they, they are coming in. So uh, let's say that um, we reset these two people again like so. <laughs> The activate loop. Let's actually remove the modulation. We don't want that any longer. Perfect. Now, let's see how these, uh, these work. You can set step here. Like so. You set the destination here. So... Um, like again, voice one format for simplicity, right? You can see is moving uh, around, okay, different uh, um, steps here, which you can define. Um, of course, you can change the resolution of those steps. The number of steps here, you can add the randomness there as well. You can have as note reset, so when you play, it just to reset the motion sequencer. You can have to snap to grade, and then you can also have it as in looping mode. And of course, you have your sync here. Let's remove that. You can change the step here, which is quite nice. Okay, 
So. Okay. So you can see it jumping. Load reset. See, it, re it restarting. From the beginning, because I have set these to note reset. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the um, short tutorial as an introduction to Bliss Voices. And as always, see you next time.